Hello there, everybody. I'm Bix here, back with another LEGO review, and today we're reviewing the LEGO Batman Movie Accessory Pack. So, uh, let's get into it. Starting off with the minifigures, I know that this is a name character from the LEGO Batman movie, I just cannot recall her name. But anyway, she has a gun accessory, this nice hairpiece in black, that facial expression. She has a little printing on for a badge on her uh, leg piece, and then that torso print I think is pretty nice. She has this back torso printing as well, and no alternate expression, but I don't know, she's kind of boring, I'd say, overall. Like, we could have gotten, like, three wacky villains, maybe. Continuing on with the boring trend, we have here a generic Gotham police officer. He has a cool head helmet piece, I like that face expression, which I think is was new in the set, I don't know if it still is exclusive. That torso print, no leg printing, and then that back print. Uh, torso print and as well as some side arm printing so that's pretty nice and again no uh, back face print here is the final minifigure and it's just another police officer he has handcuffs that nice face print I guess this hat with that kind of printed police sign um, dual molded legs so that's actually pretty nice dual molded it with black and dark blue and then that torso print no alternate face because of the hat but also no back printing and I can't say that the build makes up for the lousy figures. Like, look at this. It's so tiny. Like, if they threw in the build from the Ultimate Batmobile, this would be a great pack. Because that one actually lights up. But maybe that's too ambitious. But if they, like, they could at least have included the smaller bat, mo a bat signal that we got, I think, in a different set. Don't remember exactly which one. But, yeah, it doesn't light up or anything. This is a nice piece to get, but then you got the bat signal in there. And you can turn it all the way around. Nothing really revolutionary there. By the way, something sad is that you ruin the packaging when you open up the box. But that's not a problem for most people because usually they just throw away boxes. So overall, I can't recommend this. Especially for the outrageous price Lego was asking for $13 for this. It's so overpriced. Especially like all the other accessory packs I also feel are overpriced. But they're better than this. All this has is the boring bat signal build. And then you got these three boring and generic kind of police officers. Like, they could have given us maybe two wacky villains and then a super cool Batman with dual molded legs, printing on sides of legs and arms, maybe something cool like that. And maybe a dual molded cowl, I don't know. But, I don't know, this one is just so boring. The only reason I got it is because I found it on sale for like $3 on Lego.com. If you could find it then... Even then, I don't know if I can recommend it. Like, you saw how fast I went through the figures. It's just because police officers bore me. But I guess if you really like the DC Comics universe, I would recommend getting this for $3 if you really like the DC Comics universe. And that's just so that in your mocks, you could make police officers maybe after Batman or helping Batman. Either way. But, yeah, that's it for this video. hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.